Hello everyone and welcome back to the 56th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features, and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and anything else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. Why there? Don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. With that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And kicking this episode off with the first creation, we have the DIS 350. This is a truck done by a content creator called Sens. Now, apparently it has a tank capacity of about 1,140 liters. It's capable apparently of driving about 800 kilometers on one refueling. Uh, so interested to see this one out. Not much else here on the description of the workshop. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation of this episode, you can see this truck looks really good. It's not too big, uh, it's not too small, it, it just looks really good. Like if we go and stand up next to it, it, it's pretty much about the right height, which is, yeah, really good. Got some lovely details here in the front, just got a bit of paint blocks, we got some spotlights and things. Uh, going around, seems like some blinkers, I don't know if they actually work or not. Uh, we have the door to get in, seems like a camera and some monitors for the mirrors, uh, batteries and generators, things hiding here at the back. Uh, we have a cup load, so obviously going to attach trailers at the back. Um, seems like we have some radial segment pieces there. And that's pretty much about it from what I can see. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can see a refueling. Oh, hold on. There is a, seems like a button of some sort. Yep, and there's our refueling and our main battery. Okay, cool. And that's how he's gonna hit that. Uh, let's go and get inside. So get inside, you can see there's a little button there on the door. Uh, let's go and open the driver's seat, close the door here. Okay, and let's have a look at the back first. So nice little compartment here at the back. Uh, seems like we have heater, a lamp, and an interior light. Let's get those on. Oh, that's very nice, very nice and detailed actually. Pretty much have everything you need there. Um, passenger seat, and we also have the driver's seat. Now driver has the ignition, start, uh, engine temp, odometer, left right turn, taco, fuel, battery, air brake pressure and low brake. Um, hot seats, left right turn, shift up and down, ignition starts and beam. So ignition, start. Okay, we have up and down gear, we have low air brake pressure, okay. Uh, so I'm guessing that will probably go. Okay, so... I didn't see a break anywhere, did I? No. Okay, let's get up into neutral. And let's get on drive. Yep, there we go. I wonder if that air brake pressure... Okay, so it's building up, okay. But that's driving really nicely. Wow. Nice and smooth. It's turning well. Little mirrors on the side there, obviously with the detail up now. That's great. Yeah, this is really doing well. A reverse we have ooh, ooh, stop um yeah we had reverse there i wasn't paying attention to driving so yeah don't 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 text and drive kids um anyway that was a lovely creation it drove extremely well so obviously i just need to pay attention when i'm driving a lot better uh so let's go let's well let's go ahead and let's go to the next creation of the episode and moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the side f17 husky this is a creation done by Cocky. Now, this is meant to be an all-weather interceptor uh, that you can repurpose for ground attack. Apparently variable wings, so that's pretty cool. Uh, got a little bit of starting up procedure in there, so let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it flies here in the world of Stormux. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this little jet looks really cool. It's not too big. Uh, I think it's got just a robot pretty much for the right size. Love the little angled cockpit here, obviously using some pivots and things inside the cockpit there. Uh, really quite nice. Seems like a camera here in the front. Obviously have a way to get in the canopies there, uh, which we can get in. They work perfectly. Uh, some paint blocks we have. Looks like some kind of like fake intakes there. Underneath, I'm um, guessing this is where you would go and load your armament, uh, so missiles and things on the side. Landing gear uh, going, we have the wings, apparently they also fold back, so that's pretty cool. Uh, seems like we have the rear wings, some more armament here at the back, we have the exhaust for the jets. This looks like a aircraft carrier a hook of some sort, and that's pretty much about it. I don't know if there's a refueling anywhere, uh, I'm guessing one of these would actually be the refueling. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's jump into the back of the canopy here and see what we have. So we have altitude hold, roll stabilizer, backlights, monitors. 
So get the monitors on, uh, power on, up, down, switch pylon, drop pylon, channel, push the torque, and altitude hold. Okay, so it seems like communicator and a like navigator of some sort here at the back. Let's get the monitors off, and I want to jump to the front here. Okay, so if we can get out, of course. Uh, that would be a good question. There we go. Okay, and let's get let's one we get that closed, and then let's get into that seat. Okay, uh, we'll get the canopy closed if we can. So canopy, e. had IR refueling brake afterburner. Mm. I didn't see a canopy button. Let's see if I can hold on. That's flare. Okay, so we have play, we have auto hold, roll stabilizer, engine one, two, backlights, okay. Laps up and down, switch pylon, drop pylon, iron wide HUD, refilling beam, brake, afterburner, starter, throttle, uh, anti collision, navigation, the rest hook, and formation lights. I didn't see a button though for the for this. Now, I'm guessing, okay, I guess you could just third person it there, so. Almost had it. There we go. So canopy. Okay. Uh, let's get this started. Why not? So I'm guessing throttle up a little bit. Let's get our engine one, engine two. No roll stabilizer. Why not? Altitude on. No. Don't need any of the switch. Let's get the HUD on. Yep. There we go. Altitude. No formation lights. Yes. Nav lights. Yes. Anti collision lights. Yes. Afterburner. No. Starter. Why not? Brake. Yes. Okay. That got very quick. Let's just get that down a little bit. Uh, let's take the brake off, see if we're actually going to start moving. Okay, okay, that just killed the engine. Let's get it up again. Okay. Yeah, might have to get the brakes back on. Backlights on, why not? Okay. Doesn't seem like we're moving just yet. Okay. So far, so yep, we are moving. Okay. So let's see if we can try and guide ourselves on the runway here. Okay. I'm guessing that'll be enough. Get throttle up a little bit. Ooh, throttle down, throttle down. Break. Okay. Uh, break. Yeah, it seems very, very touchy. Yeah. See, can we control it manually? No, it doesn't look like it's. Yeah, that's fine. We're getting in just about into position here. It does do ground steering very well. Okay, let's see if we can get up our. Uh, Okay, throttle up is five. Throttle down. Let's angle it up here. Throttle up. Throttle down. Throttle up. Let's keep on turning here. Down. Okay, I think we're just about there. Okay, yeah, I think we can get get our throttle up now. Let's get it fully up. Let's see if we can take off here. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we're up. Throttle is all the way up. Let's decrease it a bit. Uh, yeah, very smooth. Let's get our landing gear, our track gear. Let's do a alt hold. Oops, let's put it at 100. Why not? And let's go and activate that. And we should be good. Yep, there we are. Should be getting to about 100. Oh, no. That's going down. Uh, Okay, didn't like my alt hold. Okay, so let's not use alt hold then. Um, let's get that up. Let's get our afterburner on. Nice. I got the wings to fold. Swing angle up and down. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Wings have now turned. Let's try and turn it here. Seems pretty agile. Getting a little bit of, uh, I don't know if I'm going too fast. A little bit of desync there. Ah, it's going very well. Very nice. Get the afterburner off. 
should be oh, there we go yeah so l nice little jets are uh, very nice and movable don't know what happened there with the ulti at all it might be doing something wrong to be honest um but yeah it looks really cool love the wings that are folding back there um but yeah really nice creation let's go ahead let's move on to the next one of the episode and moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Aerospottle Gazelle. This is a creation done by Munum. Now, this is meant to be a light helicopter with a flight range about 90 kilometers, maximum speed about 200 kilometers per an hour, cruising speed about 170. There's a couple other things in there. We have some primary and backup batteries, tank capacity about 1,400 liters of fuel, takes jet fuel, uh, a couple other th cool things in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it flies here in the world of Stormux. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this helicopter looks quite different from what we used to um nice and small it looks like it's going to be very agile loads of glass everywhere which is obviously very nice for visibility on these helicopters uh which i love to see there's so much open area there it seems like we have a door um yeah two doors to get in and out there okay we have a flare we have a refueling there we have the big jet engine here at the top um electrical connector nothing else and paint blocks and things we have the tail rotor Looks like a pipe going to that tail rotor there. Okay. Some more paint blocks and things on the back here. Um, seems like another electrical connector. And yeah, pretty much exactly the same on this side. So let's go and get in it. Um, so we have pilot seat. We have compact pilot seat again. Passenger seats. Seems like we have... What do we have? Navigation lights, cabin lights, heater, spotlight, and battery reserve. Okay uh hold on this these guys okay they have doors and they have compass okay what else do we have main battery okay so everything's on now we should be able to close this door okay um so altitude low pitch reset okay small keypad large keypad alt holder autopilot engine yeah why not seems like throttles already all the way up uh we seem to have speed don't know what that is maybe altitude uh engine electricity fuel uh auto hover i'm guessing so let's try it out in a few minutes and we'll do a waypoint why not there actually no, let's do the island how about that okay let's get that on um old hold memory keypad okay seems good so far let's just go and test oh yeah that's very stable that's very nice actually really nice Okay, and I love the, obviously, being able to see everything is so nice. Uh, let's get the old holder on, and that's working perfectly. That's altitude there. 80, and let's get our autopilot on. Oh, that was quick response. So we're p pitching a bit forward. Oh, that's perfect. Um, that's really nice. So the altitude's not keeping. Seems like it's gone on 60, even though we've set it to 100. But that's fine. Uh, it's not going down, so it's staying around 60. Could probably be a little bit stronger. Okay, but yeah, that's that's really nice. Spotlight, where's the where's the spotlight? Oh, spotlight's underneath. Okay, and we're at our location. How accurate is it? Is it going to stop us? Or is it going to make us flip around? If it is okay so we'll just flip around until it gets us to its point but yeah that's a that's a lovely little lovely little helicopter really nice and stable it it responds really well uh it's nice and small which i like it seems like it's also very quick which is also good uh obviously we need this people a little bit of jittering there but yeah really really nice little creation i'm not too sure if i'm a big fan of the um this is just a personal thing but of the landing gear it's quite wide but i'm guessing that's obviously realistic but i could be wrong um but yeah just just a really nice nice little nice little helicopter nice and agile not too complex doesn't lag out of it uh and the controls are just good so yeah really nice one let's go ahead let's move on to the next one of the episode 
And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the RMS Carapace. This is a creation done by Zikwan12. Now, this is a nice big unit liner ship uh, with it. Couple cool features in there, crew quarters, boiler room, there's a dining saloon, there's open spaces, cabins, library, you name it, it's got it in there. Uh, apparently, there is a little bit of a thing you have to read here on the workshop, uh, but we're going to go ahead, let's go and let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormax. And spawning in the next creation you can see this is one big boat now this has been spawned in using a mission here at the oil rig um now i love the detail with the ropes here on the mast they look it just makes the ship look absolutely stunning uh with that with all the detail here on the decks uh really cool seems like we have a regular just like stormworks hull um just rounded off here um seems like some doors to get in and out we have a ladder here at the front that's probably where i'm gonna go uh and that's pretty much about it for the side of the ship let's go and get up it is a bit uh laggy to be honest i'm guessing that has to do with the ropes i, I could be wrong um it could just be because this is a i think this is if i'm correct it's fully detailed in the interior now going up into the bow um here uh not much just some detailing here in the front um seems like i think these are doors so don't know where it's third class open space okay so nice little open space here okay cool uh let's go back oh uh, yeah i guess we can carry on so some benches here i'm um, guessing this don't know what this area is here um so what do we have dining room okay so nice little dining room in here uh it doesn't look like we have any other ways to go up or down at the moment so we have then the cabins, it's like some shower rooms of some sort. Okay, so those are all cabins. Uh, I don't think they're open, they just painted doors. Um, seems like more cabins, looks like a window. What do we have? Another window. This, we do have a door, so it's crew only. Okay, it does look like a way to get up there. Okay, uh, so let's go into the crew only section. Okay, in the crew only section, we have C deck. Okay, let's go down. D deck. Uh, okay, so we're on D deck now. Here, it looks like just some bunk beds and things. Okay, cool. Uh, let's carry on. What do we have? So, this is break step. Okay, more work. crew quarters. Okay, so this must be the engine room down this way. So, we'll go there. Um, Oh, some nice big engines. Okay, cool. Let's go down there. Let's see what we have. So it seems like we have some imitation coal there. We have the engine. So five boilers, engine starts. Okay, so there's the boilers. Engine started. Yeah, there we go. We've got the engine started. Nice, I like that. Lovely detail there with the boilers. Love the clothes with the heaters. Oh, that's really nice. Cool, uh, let's go, let's carry on going up. I think we've covered this deck. Uh, I think we've covered the deck above us. We need to go up to the following deck. Uh, I think there is, if I remember correctly, there was a staircase just before we came through this crew only area. Yep, there's a staircase there. So let's go up there and what do we have? So I'm guessing this is like the first class deck. I, I could be wrong. Uh, so we have, yeah, third, okay, third class stairwell. So we have another way to go out let's carry on going down so what is this uh, gent clinic okay very nice uh what else do we have I'm guessing this is all first class i could be wrong uh let's carry on going nice little painting oh some nice little things up top there carry on going some more cabins okay so we do have a cabin in here very nice that is a real cabin cool let's carry on going so we have name of the ship we have a nice little deck area up there uh it seems like a dining hall i'm guessing this is the first class dining hall okay is there another way to get up another level i didn't see one possibly we'll go on the outside why not oh are we moving no we're not moving okay oh it's where we started okay uh let's go up to the next level here so what do we have in here so this is the first class smoking lounge okay Ooh, very nice Imagine this is the ship at night time on the open seas with a little bit of rain. Oh, that looked really good. Really nice. Uh, what do we have in here? Looks like a lounge. So, first class stairwell. Okay, so stairwell, some paintings and things. Um, 
Oh, I like how he's done those lights. Those are cool. Okay, let's carry on going. Uh, what do we have? Oh, there's some curtains. That is just curtains of first, first class cabins. Um, oh, okay, so I can't actually get to those rooms. That's why I probably put the curtains on there. You guys have a look here. Yeah, that's cool. I like how he's, de he's even put that detail and that's really nice. Uh, let's carry on going along. Um, what is in here? So it looks like a library, probably another lounge of some sort. Uh, yeah, first class library. Yeah, I was right. That was good. Uh, let's go up to the next level. So, okay, let's go check. I'm guessing, hold on. Uh, what's up here? So, okay, so this is just like skylights. Looks like we have the bridge and what is that room then? Maybe telegraph telegraph room? Possibly. Let's go and get up there. Is there some lifeboats? I'm guessing they're Yeah, they're real lifeboats. Well, okay. That's cool. Uh the laggers seem to got much better once we're on the ship. Uh what is this room? Wireless room. So yeah, telegraph room is there. Um so some tracks and things. We have like throttle, key button throttle lever okay i don't know if that actually does anything um let's just carry on let's go on nice little detailing on the deck also it's nice that he just leave, didn't leave it just plain uh they actually did put some detailing and uh, yeah he's actually painted all these decks and things uh what do we have in here so offices deck house okay so i'm guessing it's like an office oh big map okay boardroom of some sort Okay, cool. Let's go and get out of there. Let's go up to the next level. And what do we have on the next level? So we seem to have like an outside wheelhouse and a in yeah, another one inside. Okay. So we have a horn, we have the helm, we have key button with a lockable button. Okay, that's interesting what that does. I guess we'll figure it out in a few minutes. Uh and then I'm guessing we have the same controls. We have helm, uh engine telegraph one, engine left two. Okay, so why don't we just test that out? Oops, no, I want to go forward. Both engines. Pump it. Oh, hello. Okay, you can see what's kind of going on underneath the ship. Um, ship's moving perfectly fine. Nice and stable, nice and steady. Love, once again, all the ropes really make the ship look good. Yeah, pretty much doing really well. Nice, you can see the back design of the ship now. Um... Seems like that's the top speed. I want to see what this little key switch now. I'm guessing it's either a sinkable or breakable mode. I could be wrong. Uh, let's go and test it. Why not? What does it do? Seems like it's opening. It just opened something, I think. Probably opened a door or something under the ship. Yep, you can see there it just opened some just opened a whole bunch of doors and things to let water in so it's a sinking ship mode uh in theory we've all seen ships sink before so we're not going to wait for that to happen but yeah really nice creation i love the dealing detailing once again with all the um vast and things it's really cool let's go ahead let's move on to the last one of the episode and moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Firefly Submarine. This is a creation done by Krimwand. Now you guys know his work already on the workshop. Uh, this looks absolutely amazing. The actual workshop page is fully detailed. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things going on there. Apparently it has five large screens, 15 medium batteries, got six medium engines, engines in there, top speed about 55 kilometers per an hour, uh, 48 clairs, f uh, five torpedoes, there's a LiDAR, a map, a marine radio, autopilot, winches, there's a whole bunch of different things in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the last creation, you can see this sub looks really cool. Nice little small compact, got a couple of paint blocks here on the side seems like i have a ton of flares going on i'm um, going around just having a look at the outside first more paint blocks seems like we have some arms some spotlights here at the front seems like we have those torpedoes that he was talking about underneath I'm um, guessing these are the ballast tanks here on the side. We also have some propellers and then the main propeller here at the back. Okay, let's get up on the top of this. Okay, so, oops, hold on, what is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, auto hatch. Okay, so, okay, so hatch opens automatically. We then go into a like a diving area. So we have a push button and a open hatch. Okay, so we don't need that. Push button does what? Okay, so it opens the, I'm guessing, engine room of some sort, okay. Close that. Uh, can I open the main door? 
Okay, cool. So main doors open. We seem to have... Oh, that's cool. I like the locking feature. Oh, that is really cool. That is really nice. Um, some polar gear. I guess it just gets, gets cold. The bed. Uh, batteries. Batteries. Lights are on already. We have a GPS system. Autopilot. Small connector. Maggles. We have time. What is in there? Uh, I can't see. It looks like a speaker. Uh, we have a map. Okay. Always useful to have a map. Uh, diesel. Yeah. Cool. Generator. Quick charge. Well, generator on. Why not? For the firefly seat. Uh, speakers and things. We have flares. 48 flares and five. Oh, geez. Wow. Uh, marine radio. Cool. Rear speed. LiDAR. Monitor. Oh. That's cool. I like that. LiDAR, nice. Uh, we have hold altitude mode. Okay, it's so the waterline mode or ground mode. Okay, so waterline mode, great. Ballast, uh, cool. Waterline, yeah, no worries. Distance, okay, and so speed up is one. Okay, so I got a speed here, we got battery here, we got plus and minus to zoom in and out. Um, and alt, alt is there. Okay, so I'm guessing turning is pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, let's go and get our ballast to 0 0.75. Okay, and let's get our further. So let's get further away from the waterline. Should be going down. I'm guessing when the ballast goes down, or you can use ground mode. I think which is above. Yeah meters to the ground or water line okay so we're doing 11 meters from the water line in theory but yeah you can see we're going down okay cool uh speed is good we just get the speed up a little bit so speed up very nice okay now we are lifting off a little bit because i guess the ballast is still filling up uh okay you can see the ballast are filling up there I guess we can just slow it down a bit. Apparently the generator is on is an auto, so when it gets air, it goes on. When it doesn't get air, it turns off. So that is quite nice. I like that. Um, okay, are we going to start going down? I guess we need to just slow it down. So let's slow it down completely. Uh, we have vertical up, vertical down. So vertical down is four. Okay, there we go. And we're dropping down. You can see the generators just stopped. Uh, let's go and just increase our throttle up a little bit. Okay, nice. Okay, I'll choose 10. We set it to 11, so that's almost perfect. Uh, we also have flare and we have torpedoes. So let's put a flare up. That goes completely up, up into the air. Okay. No, it doesn't. It's right there. Okay, so it's right. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to worry about that. I uh, wonder if there's change the monitors. I didn't see an option. Okay. Uh, we also have torpedoes. So let's actually let's get the monitor off. We can just see out. Oh yeah, you can't really see anything. Okay. Uh, let's get the torpedo. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, and then we have up and down arms too, so we can test those out. So. There we go. Yeah, so we have the little arms. Nice. Up and down. Oh, that's really cool. Really nice. Uh, why is there a light all of a sudden underneath us? Did I fire a flare? Uh, oh, I must have. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Really nice. Is there a mag or... Hold, oh, oh, okay, hold altitude. That's fine. Uh, LiDAR, rear speed. I didn't see a Maggle button. I could be wrong. Okay, Maggle. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's the Maggle. There's the winch art, small connector, autopilot. Yeah, so uh, nice little, nice little um, submarine. Really cool. Got a lot of tons of features on it. Uh, really quite nice. Nice one to end this episode off with. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and found it something entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.